Uh, number 18, Danny Mills, the right wing back for Leeds, trying to find Alan Smith. Mills is actually named in the under 21 squad. This is Leonardson for Tottenham, who've already got uh, one man down in the centre of the field. Well, Les Ferdinand taking a bit of a crack there after a challenge by Lucas Radovic. Well, this would be uh, another bad blow for Tottenham having uh, ruled Anderton out this morning. Well, this doesn't look very good for Les Ferdinand. Stefan Everson will be playing up on his own for the moment until the extent of Ferdinand's knock is determined he's receiving treatment actually just down by the uh, touchline bench still Ginola and he's shoved by Mills it's a free kick to Spurs about 30 yards but uh, as Tim Sherwood puts the ball down Les Ferdinand comes sorting along the touchline and signals that he can come back on so they're up to the 11 again and uh, it's Sherwood who curls it in and it's headed out not sure that he had to do that Michael Dubry but uh, safety first it's a corner and Ferdinand to Young back again with Ginola they're still queuing far post here it's a good cross Ferdinand but he was offside when it came back in but it doesn't matter Leeds have got a free kick here in uh, favour of Lee Bowyer here's Hart looking for Harry Kuehl this is Smith and he gets uh, knocked over by Carr the free kick's been given Ian Hart can curl it in with his left foot Oh, Mills with the chance! And that was drifting inside the far post, I think. Perhaps needed another touch to make sure it got there, but uh, Leeds couldn't supply that. And now Leonardson. He's got Ferdinand going right to left. Oh, good ball and well collected. Everson is to his left. And Everson goes for the side foot. Chick finish, which would have been had it come off he got underneath it but Ferdinand there makes the opening it's a well delivered pass and Ferdinand unselfishly sees Everson better placed he wanted to just loft it over Nigel Martin Good first touch from the Frenchman to Ferdinand. Tarico looking now longer for Everson, who might just make something of this. He's found Ginola, who in turn has found Sherwood. And Everson's there again. And it's going to be a corner. Nigel Martin got there. Everson did ever so well. He started the move, actually. And he was on the end of it. That's his first touch on the chest. He set the Tottenham move up. And then when the cross comes in from Sherwood, who's on the end of it? Yes, Everson. Corner to Spurs, Luke Young on the goal line. And Everson this time, well, looked as though he was pushed a bit by Radebe. Anyway, player's gone on for Leeds with Bridges, out of play. And he'll know the Leeds players almost as well as his own George Graham, or at least those that were there when he was manager. 
Puerto Rico. Ferdinand's closing in, Everson's there as well. And it's away by Hart for Leeds. Looking to get Ferdinand in here, Woodgate missed it, Everson, Sherwood! the captain and the long throw from Stefan Freund pays off this time it's uh, Les Ferdinand unsetting the defence Woodgate missed it Everson headed it back Sherwood cracked it through the crowd good setup play here by Everson and Sherwood beats Nigel Martin down to his right Spurs are in front in the 37th minute Much quicker to the ball there. Here's Sherwood. Ferdinand. Yes. To Rico. Oh, yes. Ginola's cross. Ferdinand's coming in. Oh, he just wanted contact. Here's Leonardson. Oh, Les Ferdinand's looking to the skies. He knows how close he was. It was a great ball here on the run by Ginola. Such an inviting cross for a striker. He didn't miss it by much. The Spurs have had a more cutting edge to their attack. And Tim Sherwood, as he did here against Newcastle and against Everton, has proved that midfield players who get in the penalty area do get their reward. Scoring the only goal of the half. Leeds had their moments in possession, but uh, Spurs might well have increased their lead before the break. Joe Dominguez, all five feet three inches of him, the Portuguese forward, is on for the second half in place of Les Ferdinand, who's still suffering from the early blow on the head that he received. And for Leeds, David Hopkin, who was left out of the starting lineup today, is back on, and so too is Darren Huckabee. So David O'Leary is reverting, I think, to his 4-4-2 formation, having taken off one of his centre-backs, Jonathan Woodgate. And Bridges is also off. So we'll see what effect the change of formation has for Leeds. And indeed whether Dominguez can uh, partner Everson as well as Ferdinand did. Of course, Chris Armstrong is still out of the reckoning for Tottenham. I think he played a practice game or part of it in the week. But they are rather short of strikers at the moment. So George Graham now jacket off, directing operations from down below. Harry Kill. It's just uh, so much ability in that left foot. He's taken them all the way down the line. Three Tottenham defenders. And in the end, Carr manages to get a foot in. Huckabee, Batty, Hart. And Batty again, now this is Kill. Hopkin, Boya. Oh, it needed to go back to Hopkin there. Batty, though, has retrieved it. Smith, good turn. Oh, and what a well-taken goal by Alan Smith for Leeds. An 18-year-old here with quite a future if he can do things like that. 53 minutes gone, and the travelling supporters have their first reason to celebrate. Leeds were buzzing around the Tottenham penalty area here to good effect. Batty plays the ball in, but look at the way he shook off Young and dispatched that in the one place that Walker couldn't get it. Right down in the corner from Alan Smith. Well, he scored, I remember, against Spurs in the league back in March. He also got a debut goal at Anfield uh, last season. Alan Smith. There's another one for his collection. 
There's a lot more passion and purpose about Leeds in the second half. That's on by Kuehl. Well, it was uh, Alan Smith who made the challenge, and again a card comes out. This is the goal scorer now being booked. And down goes Ginola. And. Uh, <laughs> gives Bowyer a lecture and shakes hands. Ginola's back on the ball now. Oh, look at this. Look at this. That's fantastic. But it was only foiled by a very, very good save. David Ginola here. How many does he take on? At least three. And even then almost curled it in but Nigel Martin responding well it's a corner to Tottenham and Sherwood's there again well the Tottenham supporters who've been really nurtured on uh, highly skilled players over many many years uh -oh. that wasn't highly skilled that's Stefan Freund and Michael Dubry George Graham's body language on the touchline suggests that uh, he's the more worried manager at the moment. Smith, Hopkin. Oh, David Hopkin did well. The flag's up, but Mike Reed plays a very good advantage and leads here with Bowyer. Oh, what an opportunity for Lee Bowyer and well played the referee the assistant was flagging but there was no need to stop the game for Hopkin he was away he gets uh, tangled up with Tirico there's the flag but the referee says no Leeds have got the ball and all Bowyer really needed to do was keep that down well won by Radovic well carried as well by Bowyer kick given against Chris Perry right on the edge of the area he's shaking his head Bowie here is um, taking them on well it looked to me like ball missed and leg connected so uh, free kick to Leeds and that's Hart oh what a strike by Ian Hart who goes across to the Leeds fans they're in the lead, having turned the match round, a thunderous free kick when it was finally taken. And Tottenham shaken here. Well, we all know what a left foot he's got, Ian Hart. That one was just so powerful that it almost knocked Ian Walker backwards. He was diving across his goal, possibly got hands to it, in fact. And Leeds, having been a goal down at half-time, have turned on a second half performance of different quality. Well, we have three minutes of the 90 left. And it's getting late in the day for Spurs now. Nielsen. There's a Spurs player left on the ground there by a flailing arm and referee Reed will want to speak to his assistant about that. There's a Leeds player here who could be in serious trouble. It might be Alan Smith. And it's a yellow card followed by a red. And it's Alan Smith who goes. He's still arguing with the Tottenham players. But the 18-year-old who equalised here for Leeds has been sent off. Now then, how bad was the contact? He obviously feels, and so will Lee, that there was some overreaction there. But he's been 
given the red card Alan Smith after Mike Reed consulted his assistant on the far side and it means Leeds here now are down to 10 men for the rest of the game that's a goal kick his old mentor George Graham as a sportsman like smile as they shake hands but this match hinged I think on half time changes Spurs lost Ferdinand and lost the initiative Leeds switched their system and profited Ian Hart with the winning goal a stunning free kick after an equaliser by Alan Smith who was later sent off after a second yellow card but Leeds showing a lot of character in the second half here and a match which really turned upside down and finished Spurs 1, Leeds 2.